hey what is happening what is happening traders will come back to my youtube channel so in today's video guys we are going to be looking at how you basically get yourself a paper trading account on trading view or let me just put it in simpler terms how you basically get yourself a demo account in trading view and trade using a demo account in trading view and why is this very important it might be important too because you know you need to polish up your trading skills and as a bonus guys it can get a bit frustrating to actually analyze on trading view and then you have to go over to your mt4 and place your trades and stuff like that but you know here you can just analyze on trading view place your trades on trading view so you can do everything in just one platform guys enough yapping without wasting on of time that us get on with it right so now the first thing that you may want to do is you may want to just simply create yourself a trading view account right i believe that you know it is super super easy right and i have actually done creating one right now so the second thing that you may want to do is once you've logged in right you just simply want to go over to where it says trading panel there at the beginning right and then as you guys can see that we do have some kind of familiar brokers here brokers like icmarketsforex.com so you are able to trade using a real account on trading view if you are basically using one of these brokers guys right so you can even go over to see all brokers there you know you can sort of like see if your broker is there you know and stuff like that but now you basically let me just close that so basically what you then do is you actually go to where it is written paper trading guys you don't need all of these brokers right there right so you basically go over to where it says paper trading right and now it is going to ask you to connect all you do is you just simply click connect right there right and i have already created a paper trading account but just for uh, uh, uh this video let us just simply create a new account right so it is just going to show you this there's your balance this is like demo this is like sort of like a demo so just simply go over to create account right there and then let us just say uh spin right let us just say the account name is spin and then here you basically want to put in the amount that you want this demo account to be and i would actually advise you guys to put a realistic amount if you know for a fact that okay sharp when i go into my lava can or if you know exactly that me i usually find using a thousand us dollars then you can put a thousand us dollars but if you know exactly that okay sharp me i usually find using a ten ten thousand us dollars then you can put ten thousand us dollars there or if you use a cent account that and you're going to sort of like find hundred us dollars on a cent account and then you know on the cent account is going to appear ten 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 thousand us dollars that is fine right so but now we are just simply going to say you are using a ten thousand us dollars account which is hundred us dollars on a cent account but that is just a, a, a topic for another day so now you can simply type include commission here if you know your broker's commission you can include it but let us just not include it so let us then say create account right there right it is creating the account so you can clearly see guys that we do have now an account balance of how much of ten thousand us dollars right to the end the account name is spin and stuff like that so yeah so now i've got like two accounts which is pretty much cool so yeah so now how do you even place a trade so you can clearly see that these are just currencies those are um or, or on the left i have um on the right hand side on on my right hand side i actually have my uh currencies right there forex trading currencies since i trade forex right but for this video's purpose let us just use a uh, btc usd let us just use bitcoin because it is the weekend and the markets are closed so we need to execute some trades right so now what you then do is if you actually want to place a trade it's either you just simply go over where it, it is either you just simply go over to where it, it is written trade there right but before we get into that guys let us just see this let us just you know set type the whole thing for uh, uh for um for our you know like you, you sort of like go over to settings and you make this chart the way that you want to for instance let's just simply go over there go over to settings and then you go over to trading guys right so now you just choose whether you want to see the the buy and sell buttons there are the buttons right there guys i'm not sure if you're seeing the buttons there right so if you want the if you choose to not see the buttons you just simply click there if you want to see the buttons you just simply click there right so instant order placement you can also uh, 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 do that if you want play sound for execution if you need a sound to to play after you have just uh you know opened the trade you know we've got different sounds here yeah <laughs> different sounds there but uh, yeah if you need any sound to play you can do that right so 
Now, appearances. Here, where it actually says appearances, right? So, on your positions, you actually choose whether you want uh, your profit or loss to be based on money or let us say that you are running on 50 US dollars profits or 50 US dollars uh, a loss. You know, you choose whether you want it to be uh, in money or you actually want it to be in percentages, right? So, I've actually uh, I've, I've, I've put that right there. Extended price line and orders, right? Extended price line for uh, and orders. I feel like I should just sort of like place a trade so that I can um, show you guys this. Let us just simply place, preferably a sell trade, and then you are just simply going to to look into USD. Let us just risk maybe one hundred. Yeah. Yeah, 1,000, take profit, instead, uh, okay. Let us just simply place a trade, guys, for uh, for me to actually demonstrate here, guys, right? So here we can clearly see that we are on our settings, right? This is important because you you, you want to be able to somehow uh, manage your trades and stuff like that, right? So the buy and sell position, we actually did uh, do that. When you place the trade, I'm sure you had yourself a sound, right? positions here so if you can just simply cl clearly see guys when i click on positions there you know um you choose whether you want your positions to, uh, whether you are in a profit or you are in a loss you choose whether you want that to appear right but if you do not want that to appear you can just simply close it just like that right and also here you can clearly see that it is saying i'm on a loss of uh minus point zero five usd if you want that to be in 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 your account percentages you just simply do that right but if you want that if you want your um your your thing your loss or your profits to appear using money then you just simply do that right and now um where it says orders there you just uh choose whether you want your take profit to appear and also your stop loss if you do not want to see your take profit and your stop loss you just simply click there guys right and also here, um, brackets, profit and loss, right, in money, choose money. It means now that, okay, sharp, if you want your stop loss to appear using money. So it means now that if price hits my stop loss, I'm going to lose uh, 4.16 4 US dollars, as you guys can see right there. But if price hits my take profit, I'm going to win 12.54 US dollars, right? So now I wanted us to look at this extended price line right there. So this extended price line, um, extended price line for positions and order. Um, yeah, this is just a line which is also going to help you. Let me just click OK, which is also going to help you when you want to do what, when you actually want to place your stop loss um, using the line. Let me just click OK. So now let us just say that you actually want to move your stop loss, right? So you do not have to go over here and then modify the position. But what you can just simply do is you can just simply drag the line. You know, as I actually move my stop loss away on this buy position, you can clearly see that the money is increasing there, right? So now my stop loss is 10 US dollars, but let us make our stop loss to be uh, preferably 4 US dollars. Now, our stop loss is now 4 US dollars, guys, right? So simple as it is, right? So now we actually have, I wanted us to basically look at this buy and sell so if you can clearly look at that seven or at that eight right there there is the spread guys there is actually the spread right so there is actually the spread right so now let us just simply go over to buy let us just simply go over to trade right there and let me just explain a little bit about this one right so on trade guys you can clearly see here that we've got market uh execution we've got limit execution and we've got stop execution so basically when you want to put on buy limits or, or, or a, 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 and sell limits you actually do that right so here we have just chose a buy limit but you can just simply go over to sell and then you can just simply choose a sell limit i'm going to also show you an easier way to actually do this sell limits and buy limits thing right so now and also here you have your stop loss guys right so when you actually want to put yourself a buy stop you actually you, you, you configure those things there and stuff like that. But let us go over to market because I believe that most of us actually use market execution, right? So now, let, us, let, let, let me close this trade. Let me close this trade. Let me just close this trade, guys, so that we can, um, so that we can, 
So yeah, right now I've closed the trade. I've closed the trade. So now, what you then want to do when you want to place a trade, just simply go over to trade right there, as you guys can see, right? And here, we do have market limit and stop, right? So market execution, there is whereby you want to buy now. Limit, you know, I'm sure you guys know limit, right? And then stop orders. Uh, these are limit orders and then these are buy stops and sell stops, stuff like that, right? So now, if you also want to move this thing around, you can just look go to undock, right? And then you can be able to move this thing around like that, right? So, but now, let us just focus on market execution, guys, right? So basically, you can clearly see our account balance that it is how much? Let me just show you guys. Our account balance is 99, is 9,988 US dollars. Uh, preferably, let's just say uh, 10,000 US dollars, right? So now here, what's going to happen here is you are going to have an option to sell or to buy there, right? And then since we, we actually know that our account is 10,000 US dollars, right? So we are going to somehow have ourselves... Uh, uh, um, uh, 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 an option to actually risk using to to basically risk using what to basically risk using money or percentages for instance now that we know that okay sharp our account is preferably ten thousand us dollars we are going to be like okay let us at least risk 500 us dollars on our what on our ten thousand us dollars account right let us ask at, at, at least risk 500 us dollars. let us just say we are risking 500 us dollars right or you can play like, okay on my 10,000 us dollars account you can clearly see that i went to where it, it it is saying um a risk usd risk right there and then when you go to percentage risk here you just simply state guys you just simply state the amount of percentages that you want to risk so let us just say that we want to risk 10 percent of 10 us dollars you are just simply going to type 10 percent right simple as it is guys right simple as it is right so, so now le let us just focus on this usd risk uh, uh, uh section right there right so basically what is going to happen here let us say we are going to be risking 500 us dollars or let us just say that hey we are we are we are taking a lot of risk we are risking 1000 us dollars right we are just simply risking 1000 us dollars right there there we go right and then where it says units this is your lot size guys right so this is the lot size that um that when you pl place that buy you know it is just going to uh, use that particular lot size and here where it says stop loss right here let us just simply say that our stop loss is going to be uh how many pips let us just simply say that our stop loss is going to be uh yeah 500 pips right and our take profit is going to be 1000 pips so where it says two here it means now that this is your risk to reward ratio guys meaning now that you are risking 1000 you are aiming to make two times of what you risked which is how much which is 2000 right and here where it actually says percentages you can clearly see here where it actually says they saying percentages, they saying dollar. These percentages, it is actually telling you that okay, you are risking 10%, right? Your stop loss is 10% of your account, and you are aiming to get how much you are aiming to get 20% of your account. That is if your take profit hits. Right? Here, where it is saying dollars, here is it is just simply telling you that okay, sharp, you are risking 1000 US dollars. That is your stop loss. And when your take profit hits, you are going to get yourself. 2000 us dollars right so when you want to buy you, you go over here when you want to sell you go over there and then you click sell when you want to buy you go over there and then you click buy right so now let us just simply click buy guys let us just simply click buy there we go there we go right so now we have just clicked buy i'm sure that you, you also heard that sound that we actually did set type there so Basically, what's happening here is you can clearly see where our stop loss, what our stop loss is saying, guys. Our stop loss is actually saying that, you know, minus 1,000 US dollars, meaning now that if price actually reverses and then comes there, we are going to lose 1,000 US dollars, just like I told you all, guys. But now, if price actually goes to our take profit there, we are going to end what? We are going to end. 2000 us dollars right there so all of this thing it is just in plain sight bro like right now this is where your profit and this is where you see your profit and loss right so right now we are 
at break even so right now we, we are in a loss of minus four us dollars minus two us dollars we are in a profit of plus six dollars stuff like that right so simple as it is guys right so now let us just say that you've been uh sort of like analyzing and stuff like that you know you've just been analyzing and then you see that ish once price gets to this zone right there right you see that ish once price gets to to that zone right there i actually want to sell what you can then do is you can just simply right click here and then go to trade and then you can be like set your sell limit right there guys right so your sell limit is just simply set right there right and then you can just simply modify your sell limit right right here let me just close that you can just simply modify your sell limit you just simply click on it and then here you can modify it and then you can plug okay sharp on my sell limit i want to actually risk maybe 500 us dollars right my stop loss you just simply set your stop loss right and then you just simply do what uh, what uh, i basically taught you guys right so wanna risk as uh, uh, 1000 US dollars you set your stop loss you also set your take profit and stuff like that and then you click just simply click modify order right there so now what is going to happen is when price gets here on your sell limit when price actually gets there it is going to execute a sell and then it's going to um uh, 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 and then a take profit is going to be here and then your stop loss is going to be where your stop loss is going to be there right simple as it is now let us just somehow close this trade when you want to now close everything you just simply go over there where it's saying paper trading right but let us just first close the sell limit there we go trade cancel so now here um another cool thing here what you can then do if you want to also modify this trade that we are in you just simply go over to that pen right there then you, you click there and then you can just simply you know modify your take profit and your stop loss and stuff like that cool thing and also here let me just bring this up there we go so and also here if you actually want to hide your um your thing let me just do that if you actually want to hide your take profit you just click that off if you want to hide your stop loss you click that off if you want to hide your um your 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 um your thing in your profits you also click that off here is profit and loss you can clearly see that right now we are in a loss of 118 us dollars you can just simply do what you can just simply click that off and you know no one is going to be able to see your uh your uh, profit and loss and stuff like that right so simple as it is things that you do not need here you can just simply hide if you want to if here you, you can clearly see that is written long but if you do not you do not want uh, someone to see that you are in a long position you can just simply click that side right there and then you know it actually goes away guys right so simple as it is and there it is showing your profit and loss right if you want to close the trade just simply click there and then the trade is going to be closed just like that right so simple as it is guys right so um they there it is guys uh you know if you just wanna have yourself a demo account um on trading view you can just simply follow these uh, instructions that i've just handed out to you guys no no stress no no huge thing required so do smash on the like button for me guys if you find value do not forget to subscribe see you on the next one bye